Hi everyone. <clears throat> it is Michelle Litwill here with All Star Stampers. It's Friday, March 3rd, and today I'm hopping on real quick to do our Sunshine and Smiles Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. I know I didn't give uh, much notice or any notice that I was going live, but um, we're here and um, we're going to make two alternatives today with this cutest set. So I'm going to show you this in just one second. I um, am just going to make sure that I am live in the right area. And we will get started with some cute cards today. So let me know you're here in the comments. Say hi. And we will get crafting. All right, I see I'm live in the right spot. Hot, so that's always a good thing. Okay. All right. So if you are not familiar, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly uh, craft subscription that you get in the mail. It's $23. That includes shipping. You can subscribe um, if you're not if you're not a member already. Um, and what is great about this is it is just like a fun surprise every month. So this month might be one of my favorites ever. Number one, it's really cute, which I like cute. And um, it was just an awesome kit. So every month you get directions, colorful directions. And it shows you step by step how to create your cards, where to stamp. There's a ruler on the side. And then um, on this back page, it shows you all the kit components. Over here it shows you some more ideas. You can even scan the QR code. And then it tells you the coordinating color. So this month's kit makes nine cards and you get nine envelopes. And it coordinates with Balmy Blue, Basic Black, Cajun Craze, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, Old Olive, and Shaded Spruce. So um, this month the kit you got these fun little dots, some glue dots, and dimensionals. They were in here. You got this adorable little stamp set. It has a frog and a kite and a sun, some flowers, and then some sentiments. It says, hello, wishing you sunshine and smiles, you brighten my day, and friends in any kind of weather. And I have um, been using all of these pieces on all er and the alternatives. So, before we get a snowstorm here, let me show you what's in here and then the cards. I made each of the cards. But what's great about these cards is you can take these anywhere and do them. It comes with everything you need. You just, um, so here are the card bases. They're like these gingham. Aren't they so cute? And then look it. On the inside, they're kind of decorated too. So that's pretty cool. Um, you don't need to have any special die cut or punches to do the cards just as. Everything just like pops right out. Aren't these so adorable? And then you have your labels here. You can do all, and then kites. Thank you for sharing. And then these are a few pieces that go with the card too. And then um, here are your envelopes. They're really pretty like that. And then um, the last thing is it has, uh, this month came with a Mango Melody uh, stamp and spot. Um, and then they did come out, if you were one of the lucky ones, um, they've been having these add-ons. So um, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, like check they like um, post and stuff, but they had a set of two dies that coordinate with the frog and the flowers that match the stamp set. They were only $6 for those two dies, but you had to get them like way before you even got your kit. And so um, almost every month, almost every month, they have some sort of add-on cards, um, something, some little boxes, something that coordinates. So anyway... This was the first time they ever did dies, and they were really, really popular. So I'm hoping they will offer more of those in the future because it was a great perk. And then here it's showing you another alternative. Right there is that not 
a super cute um, alternative card there. So if you are one of my subscribers with Paper Pumpkin, you will get the tutorial for these two cards we're going to make today along with two additional cards. Um, I love this kit. It court This kit coordinates with um, that Plain in the Rain suite. If you missed it, this week I did some cards. Um, it kind of coordinates with this suite and then the paper. Um, and then I even am doing my card club with that suite this month. So if you want to join card club, we're going to be doing these adorable cards. This is a um, an easel card. It's a fun little easel card in that. So anyway, I love the suite. And so that's... Uh, we're getting lots of these cute little coordinating products. In. Um, okay, the paper that I am using for my alternative cards today come from that suite of products too. Uh, and you can tell I've been playing with like crazy with it. Look at all the little pieces and stuff. And so this you'll find in our mini catalog. It's called Rain or Shine. It's $15 for the full pack. And if you are in the card club, you'll get a half a pack of this. But um, a really great pack of paper. That's what we're going to be using today to do our alternatives with the stamp set. All right, so let's get in. So anyway, that's a little bit about Paper Pumpkin. Um, I just love it. And next month's Paper Pumpkin, they're celebrating an anniversary. So if you have your subscription on pause or if you have canceled it, next month you not you get a second stamp set for free to celebrate their anniversary. So that's kind of cool. Okay, here's what the cards look like in the kit if you put them together just like they intended. All right, let me show you. Here's this one. It says, you brighten my day. Look at that cute little duck. So you stamp, we stamped the sunshine up there. And on the inside, it looks like that. Okay, so there's that card number one. So you make three of each of these. Um, or you can. And then here's this one. It says friends in any kind of weather. And I love, again, these you just like, they just pop right out. The little clouds, the frog, the turtle with the umbrella. And that is the inside. And so somebody asked me, um, where would you write your message? I would just write on the back. You could write on the back of the cards if you don't want to write on the inside. And then here is the other card. And this one says, wishing you sunshine and smiles. So we stamped the kite. They have some die cuts, but that kite stamps perfectly. The little bunny, the flowers, and there is the inside. So again, you would make nine of these cards, three each of these, if you put them together just like the kit had. All right, so we're going to be using, um, let's get making our first card. I um, wasn't, I like had to pick up Matthew from school today because he's like in uh we have about two weeks before track season starts and so I picked him up and I thought oh I'm not going to go back to work and then we're supposed to get some snow and I thought you know what I'm going to go back and do my paper pumpkin stuff so we're getting this in before we get some snow today so what I have here is just a old olive card base and so eight and a half by five and a half folded in four and a quarter so there's our card base we're using old olive um, again, if you're in my team or my subscribers, you'll get these tutorials. Um, then we have basic white five and a quarter by four and the designer series paper from that paper pack that just layers right on there. So we're just going to go ahead and layer these together. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Not coming, joining guess nobody came over to craft with me today. Um, but thank you for joining me on the video today. Um, this and all my other videos are over on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give my YouTube channel a thumbs up and a, subs a subscribe. Um, I am on a mission to get to 10,000 over there. So uh, I appreciate that. Okay, this we're just laying on here. Oh, and if you ordered from my 14-year anniversary, everything got shipped out. Most of them got shipped out yesterday. There was a few today, and they are on their way. We dropped them. I had Matthew help me drop them off. 
Okay, something on our online store that came back was our a couple circle punches, the one and three quarter and the two inch. This one already, you guys depleted the inventory, but um, I punched this out with that in basic white. And then I have just a little strip here. And then you're gonna stamp your little froggy in memento ink. I don't, I just went ahead and did that because I found this little scrap. So what we're gonna do is a few things. So we are going to color the frog in with our Stampin' Blends with the Light Old Olive. And then uh, I have a little bit of um, So Saffron. That tip isn't very great at the end, it's starting to fray. So, um, all right, so there's our frog, almost all colored in. I love this, I love this coordinating um, paper anyway. Okay, so there's our cute little frog. <clears throat> now I have the, oh, I guess this is light daffodil delight. I thought it was so saffron. So I'm gonna do just around the bottom and side of this like little belly of the frog. Then I'm gonna take my color lifter and kind of like blend that out. All right, there's our frog. Now I do have the dies, but I didn't bring them in here. So I'm just going to fussy cut these out because here's the thing too. I know not everyone got the dies. This is what I'm finding with a lot of Stampin' Up! things. Uh, it The stuff is selling fast. Um, there's some stuff that's really popular and so but a lot of the things you can still make it work and I'm hoping that they'll start ordering some more of these things that they know that we really like so we can just easily cut out this frog too if you don't have the dies you can cut it out and there he is he's so cute just like that all right next up we're going to do um what are we gonna do? Let's stamp our sentiment. So I stamped wishing you sunshine and smiles. Um, very, very cute stamp set. Again, in the memento. Hi everyone. Ugh. Oh no, I see an angry face. Hopefully that was on an accident. I think usually that is, but maybe not. Maybe I made someone mad. I know sometimes I accidentally hit the wrong little thing. Okay, so I, sorry if my head gets in the way. I'm trying to stamp this straight. This is just a half inch strip. All right, there we go. And now our circle. So this little one and three quarter inch circle, we're gonna do something a little fun. So I have, um, a blending brush in uh, light blue which is has mostly like balmy blue on it I think and then I have a wink of Stella this is a glitter brush it's kind of getting empty and so what I'm gonna do is I have old olive ink because that's my coordinating colors so take your ink pad and I'm squishing it and I got some ink in the lid here so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Wink of Stella. So this is has like glitter in it, but I'm going to use it as a little paint brush and pick up some of this green. It's going to make it a little sparkly green. And I'm going to just go about halfway across here. And I'm not going to like fuss too much about it. I'm just going to color this bottom in. If you want it darker, just keep going more. And so now we have some grass that's a little sparkly at the bottom and it looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, let me know if you guys loved your winter retreat. I got, I've been getting some really good feedback. 
but um, super excited about that. So then all you do with this is just take a little paper towel or baby wipe and just wipe out the color and then you're good to go to use this again. But <clears throat> that <clears throat> is a fun way to use your Winka Stella with to add a little color and sparkle without a mess. I do this all the time. I just haven't showed it in a while. And let me show you. It looks like um, on the camera it doesn't look very pretty, but I tell you in life it looks really it looks really good. So there's that. And then again, this would just be in a little bit of balmy blue, but I already have some on here, so I'm just um, adding a little bit of blue to the top of my circle. And there we have it like that. Okay, so now we're going to take this circle and we're going to glue it on with your favorite adhesive. So here we have this and I'm just gonna pop this right here. And then I'm gonna take my cute little frog and I'm gonna pop him up with a dimensional. Look at all these dimensionals that are almost all used up. We will use them all up. So one with the froggy goes right here. And I'm gonna just gonna stick him on there is it and you can't see but it is sparkly at the bottom there and I like that it has different shades because this paper does too and um and it just looks really cool anyway so now we're gonna take our little half inch sentiment we're gonna cut it at an angle and I do have a little bit of room over here and we are going to oh Linda she said the winter retreat was the best one so far. And Lori said, OMG, I was up at 6 a.m. working on the retreat cards instead of getting ready for work. Oh, you guys, I love you guys. I'm so glad you loved it. It was seriously so much fun, and I'm searching for things for the spring one right now. And hopefully this weekend I can get it like what I want to do and plan to do finalize. All right, so then we're going to take this little sentiment thingy and we're just going to put it right over here like that. Now I'm going to use some linen thread. This is not in your kit. Uh, linen thread should be a staple in all of your craft room. Um, it's something like linen thread or white baker's twine. Like I don't include it in any of my kits anymore. I usually, I'm, I will probably do it like once a year. Um, because all of my friends and customers have been like, Michelle, you always keep giving us this because it's hard just to cut a piece of it. It gets tangled. So I just expect you all to have it. And if you need it, it's five bucks and this thing will last the average person a while. For me, I go through about one a month. So I, I make a lot of projects and cards in here though in bulk too. So, um, take some linen thread. I love it because it goes with everything and it just coordinates with everything and it's easy to add a little touch of something without being too bulky and yeah it's just awesome so get yourself some linen thread if you don't have any and then we're going to take a little glue dot now you do have glue dots and dimensionals in your kit i just prefer these ones better and we're going to put this right over here um Deborah said, we had so much fun with our retreat bag. I'm so glad. <laughs> Linda, I don't even know what your retreat is and I want it. It did sell out pretty, pretty fast this time. Like, I'm not going to lie. We sold, okay, just to give you an idea, we sold 72 retreats in less than 24 hours. And that was the normal amount I normally do. So I bumped it up to 100 this time. Um, so anyway, they went pretty quick. Okay, then... Um, I'm going to use the pastel adhesive back sequence. Um, I'm giving these away in my card club this month. So if you're in the card club, you're look at there's like so many of them. I'm going to take some of these blue sequins and I'm just going to, I love a little sparkle. And since we have some sparkle in the Wink of Stella, we're just going to add like three more of these little sequence and this is our first alternative using that adorable stamp set with our paper pumpkin kit from February. So that's card number one. Let me know what you think and here is um, this one and I'll take a picture. Um, you can see that little sparkle in that grass there. It's just really cute. So I hope you like that card. Card number one. All right moving on to card number two. 
if you missed if you miss Wednesday I made these cards too and then a slimline card so um oh my gosh I'm I'm ready for winter to be over let me tell you all right so here's card number two for card number two we're using balmy blue I've been using this color a lot lately and so we got a balmy blue card base then we have a white four and a quarter by three and a quarter and this paper four by three so this paper is like the top it's like the top of this like that's where that come from so we're going to just layer these pieces together and then I'm going to grab some ribbon. So I know a lot of you did take the retreat, so you have this ribbon because I included two of my favorite ribbons. Um, I'm just trying to find where that favorite ribbon is at. Here it is. So this is a balmy blue uh, variegated ribbon. So pretty. And so I'm just going to take this and wrap it around. So I like this ribbon because it's light and not bulky and pretty. So, and I want to use it all the time, but I've already given it away too. So grab it out and use it up because that's why you have it. All right, so we're going to tie this bow here and cut this down. Now on this card, we're going to use the kite. We're going to stamp the kite. So this bow is like so flat, like it looks big and bouncy, but it's flat. Sharon, I um, did not announce I was coming live. I saw Sharon today for a few minutes and I left at 2.30 and I took Matthew home and then I said, I'm going to hurry up and do my paper pumpkin stuff. So then it's just one more thing I have done. So I came back to do it before the snow. So otherwise I would have told you. All right, so now, okay, so now we have this, and the clouds are like embossed, so that's really cool. And we're going to just put this down on here. Now I took our cloud punch, which I showed in my last video, and punched out a, vel a piece of the cloud in vellum. So this is in our annual catalog. It's $19. I really like that it's a punch and it's a cloud so we can kind of like put this up and then we need a strip and then also a scrap of white which where did here it is my scrap of white is right here so we're gonna stamp do some stamping real quick so I am using for this card um flirty flamingo and Sahara sand and memento so this is um <clears throat> gonna be we're gonna I'm gonna stamp the kite you could take your stampin right markers not the blends the blends are alcohol they will stain your stamp but the stampin right markers are water based and you can use the brush end and color to get like different colors you might see that in one of the other cards on the tutorial um, so there's that this one I'm just gonna do solid and then I have the kite the little kite tail and that one I'm just going to do in the Sahara sand. Just so it's not, you could use black too, but I just want it to be a little not so stark, I guess. So there's that. All right, there's our kite. And then on this one I'm going to use the sentiment that says, friends in any kind of weather. And I'm going to use the black for that. And... Okay, come on. There's okay, so on this little strip here, we're gonna stamp that, and now we're going to do some stuff with our scissors. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a banner. So, you can take we have a banner punch, you can do that with the end. Or you can do my impatient move. I just don't like to grab the punch because I just cut up the center and then go from side to side 
roughly at the same angle and then you get perfect little banner that way as well. So there's that. <clears throat> and now our little kite we're going to cut out too. So I'm just kind of going around the little tail of the kite. I'll probably trim some of it off also. And then just leave a little white border around your kite. And then that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to cut out a little kite. And... Alright, there we have a kite. And now let me bring this in to finish our project up. So the kite, I'm going to take a um, dimensional and put it behind the top of the kite. And then I'm going to take that, oh, where did it go? It's like see-through, the vellum cloud. I'm going to take the cloud, I'm going to have it going this way, and I'm going to um, put it on there like that. So see, there's our kite. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm only going to add glue behind the kite because with vellum, if you add glue all over, it it can show through. So then I'm going to position this kind of over here. So this card's going to be a little bit different than the other one just because of the placement of the clouds. I'm going to trim off the tail of that kite. And then on this one, I had some mini dimensionals here. And I'm going to add probably two or three, maybe three because it's kind of long. Three of these mini dimensionals. And, okay, then we're going to put this, and this is going to kind of hold the little tail down here like that. And then to finish it off, we are going to go back to our kit and remember, it came with these pretty little pink dots and some blue raindrops. Well, I'm going to take three of these little, um, they're like flirty flamingo, and I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, just add a few for a pop of color. You could add any little gems or rhinestones you want. You could use the sequins I used on the other card. In fact, I'm going to come in here with, you could, yeah, put a little blue one or a gold one. I'm going to take a pink one and just put it in the center of that kite. And so there it, so there's a little, oh, my cloud I popped up. I didn't on this one. On my other one I did. So you could pop that cloud up too. I didn't even pay attention. So here is um, this card. So this piece had more of the clouds in the background. This one, there, there, this way you can see them. So you can have your clouds going either way or your kite and clouds going either way. So let me know what you think of that. So that's our second alternative. Again, there will be four in the tutorial if you're a subscriber. Um, and you get the tutorial. I also put all my subscribers in a drawing every month and give away a free prize. And I do mail that out. Um, if you do get a prize, feel free. Like, please share it on our page so people see. And they know, like, oh, Michelle really does send out all those prizes, she says. So um, there's card number two. And if you missed it, you can watch the replay. But here is our first alternative card right there. So there we have that one. Again, this kit was so adorable and it made these really cute cards uh, there as well. So I hope you enjoyed this paper pumpkin kit again. Next month, the paper pumpkin kit comes with not one but two stamp sets to celebrate uh, paper pumpkins anniversary. So, um, enjoy. So sign up if you, if you haven't, give it a try. I would love to have you. And, um, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And in the comments or just email me. 
I'm trying to see if there's any other comments. If you hopped on late because I didn't give any notice, when this ends, you can go back and watch the beginning. Because I did do a fun technique with the um, Wink of Stella on this little circle. If you want to see that. All right. We'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend and be safe. And uh, I will see you back next week. Bye, everyone. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you for sharing.